and you already know how we get down listen to me and hear me good you guys I am all the way lit okay I came to support a friend um, who was uh, nominated who is being acknowledged um, and you guys it's a whole vibe in this place but I'm gonna go ahead and give you snippets I wasn't gonna vlog today but I think I just might I just might because this here has stirred me up so right before we do get started go ahead hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the notification bell and drop make sure you hashtag die gang gang you already know but I love you if this is your first time tuning in I welcome you with hugs kisses and love and for those of you that's been rocking with your girl you already know how we get done we be like welcome back welcome back hey welcome back welcome back hey so let's go ahead and get inside and see what they're up to you already know you already know i said it's a whole vibe it's a whole vibe i'm pretty sure you hear the music it's a whole vibe you guys a whole vibe and the visionary herself is mad dope down to earth cool and beautiful beautiful black woman we gotta embrace one another but let's go ahead and go outside DJ Riri <laughs> Although we are ladies, although we are women, we have different goals, 
We have different visions for ourselves. And we also have different aspirations that does not consist of the same lifestyle. So I had to pull out the visionary because, listen, you guys, baby, I was trying to figure out where I knew her from and it hit me. She did a live on Facebook under Forerunners Network and I remember I was tuned in and I had like three or four pages of notes after she was done talking. So, listen, <laughs> y'all should see her, she's like smiling. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself because I don't want to butcher her name. Um, beautiful black woman here in South Florida. So baby, my platform to yours. Introduce yourself. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, kings and queens. Listen, my name is Ola G. Day Wilkerson. I am the founder, the CEO of Hair Goddess Boutique and of course, Wealth Icon University. Hello. Okay? And today, we are actually here underneath my events business, Ola the Boss, Ola the Boss. I she am, is the boss, y'all. Listen, today is all about women's empowerment. Yes, it's July 4th. It is Independence Day of the United States. But guess what? <laughs> it is women's independence. Okay, all my ladies. Hello. Yes, yes. So listen, today I'm honoring 20 female entrepreneurs and about four frontline workers, okay? All women. It's all about number one, celebration, success, networking, and collaboration. Not tomorrow, not the next day, but right now. Ooh, how can people get connected to you? Okay, so listen, you can find me on social media and Facebook under my name, which is Ola G Day. That is O L A. J-I-D-E, Ola G Day Wilkerson, W-I-L-K-E-R-S-O-N. Also follow my hair company, Hair Goddess Boutique, Hair Goddess Boutique on Instagram and Facebook. And um, anyone who is out there who is wants to start a business or you want to take your business to the next level, say you want from zero to five figures or five figures to six figures, I am your coach. So what do I do? Number one, full time, okay? I coach and help entrepreneurs to do what? To create their own business, okay? It's all about gaining clarity. You gotta know where you Ooh, are going. Yes. Not just you, your vision, your team. Who do you have to be? Confidence, you gotta have confidence to overcome your fears and challenges. And lastly, commitment. Commitment to building a profitable business system that works for you and an iconic brand. Yes, yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it. You know guys, I love it. But you guys also know I'm a very transparent person. Um, one thing I do on my YouTube is um, I'm, in, I'm faith inspiration and creating the lifestyle because you do have a lot of people on the platform, they show the fabulous side, but you don't see the process. You understand what I'm saying? So if you can give them just a brief synopsis of what, what caused you to get started. Wow, okay. I'm going to be real authentic. Okay? That's yeah, okay. that's fine with me, baby. Okay, I'm the, okay. Listen, I honestly started entrepreneurship when I was 18. Um, with a company called Prime America, I got my life insurance license. I was always in the hospitality, uh, waitressing, bartending, events, and things like that. However, I was a college student at FIU, and honestly, at the age of 20, I got into some legal issues. You know, I made one mistake, 
that shifted my entire life. My yes, God. I became a convicted felon at the age of 21 because by the time the case went, I was 21 years old. So what actually catapulted me into entrepreneurship was that. I remember I was in the courtroom and um, I told the judge, I said, I will be paying for this mistake for the rest of my life. And I promise oh my God, I feel like pay crying. it forward. And that's what I have been doing for the past 12 years. Um, I have been an entrepreneur and this is my passion. I just love helping people eight years in the game, coaching other people to earn five, six, and seven um, figures. So for all of y'all out there, I really want to tell y'all a quote that I live by is number one, do not let allow your circumstances to dictate your future. You get to choose who you get to be, no one else. I don't care what you do, I don't care what anyone says about you. You get to choose who you are and you get to do that every single day. Dang, come on. Peace and love. Uh, listen, you guys already know, y'all already know how I flow. At the end of the day, don't let nobody limit you. Don't let nobody put their perspective, their perception, their perspective, or their vision on you. You got to strip from all of that, be tap into who you are, know who you are, know who you are, and level up. Don't allow your past to hold you back. Don't allow people to hold you back. And don't allow the lack of to hold you back. There's too many resources out here. Listen, she did it. I'm doing it. And we great. All right? We great. But let's go ahead and return and have a good time, right? Oh, and she looking good, y'all. Look at that. Look, look, at, look, honey. She came to serve. I love it. I'll see y'all inside. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Good evening, good evening. Such an honor to be here on this afternoon. So my name is Marguerite Prosper. It's truly Marguerite Prosper. Married to a Prosper, right? Um, I go by Madame Prosper because sometime last year they started calling me Madame Prosper, my financial firm. And I'm like, why are you always calling me Madame Prosper? He was like, well, we're Haitian, right? So Madame is Mrs. Right? So I said, like, okay, it makes sense. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna run with it. So that's where Madame Crosser came from. <laughs> wow. Love it. So, Miss Madame Prosper, how can, what products or services do you offer? All right, so when people ask me that, it's a kind of a trick question because there's so many hats that we wear, right? My husband and I are in business together. Most females are not in business with their husbands. And I can understand why, because it was a long journey, right? So, so I have an event planning company, a party rental company that I own on my own. He supports me. I'm also a life insurance agent with five states underneath my belt. Uh, collectively, we own a tax office. We also do business credit and he's a realtor. So uh, we collaborate on the financial aspect with the tax offices and we collaborate uh, with business credit. So we don't focus on personal credit, we focus on business credit. Um, the reason why, because after serving 12 years as a pharmacist assistant, I decided that I was gonna take a leap of faith and start my own business, right? So I did that in 2017 and I made my first six figures on my own. So my husband was always a six, multiple six-figure earner, so I was a homemaker, right? And I was glad to be a homemaker, right? So after a while, I was like, you know what, let me go out and try to do this on my own. I did it, God led me, we made, I made my first six figures since 2017 with the event planning industry. From there, I was like, you know what, Lord, this is good. I'm a woman of faith. I was like, this is good, but I want a little bit more and I want to make more money a little bit faster. Right? So, I don't love money, but I love what money can do, okay? I love the results money brings to me because I love nice stuff, okay? And I love to live in a nice, 
flourishing, beautiful home. Cause okay? we bougie. I love to try to try I'm the best, okay? And I love to wear the best. So with that being said, I don't want to depend on a man. I want to be able to be independent and be married at the same time, okay? So I went out and I got myself together, okay? And with that being said, I launched out and um, I went for the leap of faith in the financial industry as a life insurance agent. Don't have any type of background in that area. But what touched me the most is back in 2016, my husband was incarcerated. I we lost over four hundred thousand dollars to the government. I we lost all of our homes. We lost the cars. We lost everything that we worked for. Right? In one month, we lost everything. So with that being said, I was like, when the second time come back around and I gather up my coins, I make my six figures. I'm going to protect it the right way so the government will no longer come and seize what I've worked for, okay? Come on. So with the insurance industry, it gives me the privilege, and I did it for myself, and now that it's proven, I can now bring it to the community, right? So through the life insurance industry, there is a vehicle called an IUO. The wealthy is using it to shelter and build equity. The minorities don't know about it. And there's something that's called probate. If our money were properly protected, we would have not lost anything. You guys go ahead and Google OJ Simpson. Go ahead and Google, um, there was a, basket, a basketball player, don't remember his name right now. But those people, when they were incarcerated, when they came back out, they were still millionaires because they know how to shelter their cash. Come on. And they know how to properly protect their investments. Come on. So that's what I'm about right now. When I make it, I need to be able to keep it. Ain't nobody gonna come and snatch up what I work for because I have three basic babies to leave an inheritance for, right? right? So the Bible says a wise man leave an inheritance for his children's children. So with that being for uh, with that being said, to me. Everything I touch, I'm not, I boast in the Lord. Why? Because anything I do, I'm humble, right? And I serve from a heart of gratitude. So when you reach out to me, the first thing I say, who sent you, right? Right? And that's the first thing I ask you, by which way? Because I'm honored. And anything I do, I always want to be remembered as a, um, a, a servant leader. Yes. Okay? I want to be able to lead from a servant stance and be able to serve from a leader stance. And that's just what I'm about. visionary events, design, or visionary party rental, and on the financial component is Madame Prosper on Facebook and Instagram. And um, so Facebook and Instagram is consistent, visionary events and designs, or Madame Prosper, which everywhere you go, you'll find most of all of the platform, all the businesses that we offer there. Thank you so much. Anything I touch, I literally want to be, uh, be able to create something great with it. So I do have Suzanne Joseph Enterprise. I have a staffing company. So if you're looking for a personal assistant, you're looking for a, uh, st a server, a bartender, we handle all your staffing needs. Um, if you are looking to just 
have somebody babysit, somebody just cook, clean, clean up. Like I literally do it all. Um, and I have a team that I work with that helps support the business. Um, I'm also a wellness strategist. I do believe that mental health is very important. Woo -woo. I myself have encountered depression and anxiety and through that God has uh, brought a vision to me and that was my Redirect Your Choices program that help individuals go through therapy, they go through meditation, they go through coaching, and us to be able to empower women just to restore them for greater and be able to, to see their purpose and be able to create positive results. So that's what I utilize the Redirect Your Choices program. Um, so that is who I am in a nutshell. Um, again, I check in on yourself when it comes to your mental state of mind. The things that we do today, it's really having a renewed perspective and really redirecting your choices and looking at life differently. And when I say life differently, like I said before, even in prayer, can't no man take credit for who I am today. And that all began with me just accepting God, accepting the call, listening to his voice, and being obedient. And when I say being obedient, that means serving his people. That's what we're here to do, to serve his people, make sure that all his people are blessed, make sure all his people have financial restoration, mental restoration, deliverance, Everything that God has called us to be is in our hand and only really takes for you to just say yes. That's all it took me to really change my life. So thank you. Thank you. Now, what are some of the products or services um, that people can get from you? Because I know you have challenges and work. Well, no, I'm gonna let go ahead. So some of the products you can get, uh, get from me, I also through my experience created a journal. Uh, the journal helps you with budgeting, it helps you with your um, emotional state of mind. Uh, a lot of uh, the things that we go through is because we don't know how to control our emotions. So those tools are in the journal to help you control those things, tap into what's bothering you, tap into what's angering you, and basically bring positive results in those energies that really putting a negative turn in your life. Um, again, uh, some of the services I provide, yes, I do wellness strategy with you. Um, I, I have therapists that I connect with that's here to give you therapy. And I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. You cannot come to me unless you're doing therapy, straight up. Um, I can't give you healing. I can't give you the healing you need from the traumatic experiences that you are encountering in life. And you won't understand me, you won't open up your mind until you go through therapy. So part of being part of the program is going through therapy. And it is also covered by the program. Some people donate. So what I do out here in these streets when I'm hustling is because I wanna pay for your therapy so you can get your life together, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> You can reach me at Suzanne Joseph literally everywhere. Uh, Suzanne Joseph Enterprise, and you will find everything you need to know about me when it comes to the wellness strategy, when it comes to your staffing need. Everything is on my name. I am Suzanne Joseph, okay? So, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So, you guys, like I told you, y'all know my channel is Faith Inspiration and Creating the lifestyle creating the lifestyle and i want to take you guys through this journey okay because you have people that don't show you that and i'm transparent enough to say that okay um i'm transparent enough to say that you know um no i don't have millions in the bank i don't have thousands in the bank but i'm on my way okay and it's all in making um, better decisions moving forward stepping out tapping in to the great things that God has placed in us because people take the Holy Spirit as something as as a, a figure to only lead you in prayer and in worship but however the Holy Spirit can also lead you into business businesses multiple businesses strategies whatever it is that you need because it says the Holy Spirit is a teacher a teacher a teacher so, but I love you guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit y'all up when I get home so that we can cap out. But I love you. See you later. Yee!